send out this email to like hundreds of people saying if you want a free video I'll send it to you and if they ask for it like I'm gonna say like give me your address you know and I'll mail you my video and uh, it should be interesting to see what happens and uh, I fucking we don't have any coffee in the apartment I, I got this bridgehead coffee for Christmas and I was like, wicked, you know, we're gonna have some nice freaking bridgehead Mexican coffee. And, uh, and this morning I went to open it up, all, you know, wanting some coffee. It's fucking beans, man. I can't make coffee with fucking beans. So I'm gonna drive over to Bridgehead, over there in Wellington, and uh, see if they'll grind it for me. I want to take you far so basically I had a few video art DVDs left over that I wanted to get off my shelf. I had made about a hundred of these DVDs six months ago to help promote my videos and art, such as my robotic sculptures made out of computer junk. US flag I made out of shredded up $50 bills, and the Bush video I remixed where I made George say he would follow in the path of fascism. From this day forward, we will follow in the path of fascism, Nazism, and totalitarianism. So to get rid of these last few promo DVDs, I whipped up this email that basically said, Hey everybody! Come participate in the 2005 Free Art Experiment. To do so, simply send an email to me with free DVD please as the subject and include your mailing address and Adornado, which is me, will mail you his video art DVD for free. No shit, it's true, they didn't even have to pay postage. So I fired off my experimental invitation email to the memberships of Art Engine, Saw Video, Terminus 1525, and just for kicks I somehow got this local poet guy Rob McLennan to send it off to his membership, and I also got my buddy Max Mill to forward my invitation out to his email list as well. Now this dude, he's the shit when it comes to poetry in Ottawa. <laughs> Hey, is this Max Middle? It's this is. Hi, Max. I don't know. It's a Mark Adam How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. You know the uh, 2005 Free Art Experiment uh, announcement that uh, you sent out there? Yeah. Do you know roughly how many people you sent that to? Um, sort of like somewhere between 800 and 1,000. Eight hundred and a thousand people? Yeah, I think so. I'm just making, yeah, I think so. I think that. I mean, I, I don't know. I've got like the uh, email list uh, all on a, like a Word document, so I don't really have a way of counting the number of addresses. But holy song! Shit. <laughs> and so the experiment had been set in motion. It only took about. Well, six replies to realize that there may be a problem here. Within days, replies started popping in from all over Canada. I got replies from Amherst, Nova Scotia, St. John's, Newfoundland, Estevan, Saskatchewan, Gatineau, Quebec, Montreal, Quebec, Lac des Loups, Quebec, 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 Quebec. I even got one from New York City. Shit. I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch more DVDs. So I buckled down in my apartment and started burning off copies. One by one, day and night. Within the first week, I received 45 emails from people wanting my DVD. Ah, just couldn't even believe how many replies I got. I mean, I just have all these freaking envelopes I had to go out and buy. Look, I got 
some Michelle Provost, I got a, a Guy Brubay, I got, I got someone over here from Medicine Hat, Alberta, I've got like, you know, some uh, Don Monet over here, I got uh, some guy named Alexander Castungi, I mean, uh, I had to buy blank DVDs, DVD cases, printer cartridges, paper, envelopes, and that was just to make the damn things. Then there was postage. Sending out videos to all over Canada was no easy task. Oh, you want to? See, God has given you five fingers. That's true. Eh? So, here, here you do like this. Here, line up. All line up. All line up. See the fast people? That's bang. I got four. Bang. 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 Yeah. I was sending DVDs from East Coast to West Coast to, well, actually, even across my street. When all was said and done, I received 83 emails from three different countries asking for my DVD and spent over $450 on the whole experiment. And that's not including the cost of the video production time it took to shoot and edit this damn experiment, which puts the total cost of this experiment through the roof. Boy, it's hurting my wallet. What was I thinking? Made a few good friends. Got no food to eat. Spare change. Runs are running out now. Bye-bye.